Hello, Hope Tri-Cities. Laura and I are here on, on Kauai on our vacation. We've been uh, spending time in the sun and in the water, and we've been just investing in one another. And uh, uh, But we keep hearing reports of what's going on in, in Washington State mm -hmm. in regards to the coronavirus and all the different measures that the state is taking, which I think are really appropriate. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's important for us to honor those things. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Yeah, you know, we, we, we love you guys. We want the best for mm -hmm. our church and our community. We want people to be healthy. So we've mm -hmm. got a, a plan that we're brewing up. What's mm -hmm. the plan, Laura? So this Sunday, uh, well, let's just talk about what the school districts are doing. So coming into effect on Tuesday, um, there will be statewide school closures that are happening. And so we are going to be following suit with what the schools are doing. And we are going to be closing church after that point. But this Sunday, there is service as usual at 10 a.m. at Hope Tri-Cities. Going to take the opportunity to pray together, to worship together, and really rally as a community so that we can just bolster our faith together and be able to, um, to unleash hope in the Tri-Cities yeah. during this time. So Sunday, 10 a.m., as usual at Hope Tri-Cities. And then beyond that, starting on March 22nd, we will be doing some sort of live stream. We're still trying to figure out mm -hmm. all of the details, but um, we'll be having church at home and until and we get word otherwise. Right. So we got. I think it's important to not be discouraged mm -hmm. during this time. I think it's important for us to just continue to lean on yeah. Jesus and trust him. He's got this. Mm -hmm. This is not a surprise to mm -hmm. him at all. Um, so this opportunity for us to gather together, if you feel like you are able to, mm -hmm. like, just like in Acts 2.42, they came together, ate mm -hmm. together, they worshiped together, they, they got, got in God's word, God's word together. And then maybe maybe during uh, during the, our online streaming, something that we can be putting together on Sundays, we can have some kind of mm -hmm. worship time together, but not together, if you will. Right. Um, but but I, th I think it's important that during this time, we, we look at a couple different things that are uh, that are important. Uh, when you mm -hmm. look back in history, you see uh, the, the early church history, you see whenever persecution happened or whenever something like this happened, mm -hmm. plagues or devastation happened, mm -hmm. the Christian people did not run away. Mm -hmm. Ran right into it. We ran right into mm -hmm. it. And we, we offered hope. We mm -hmm. unleashed hope. Mm -hmm. And so let's continue to, to walk that out. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to lean into Christ um, mm -hmm. in the time of crisis? Yeah, knock on your neighbor's door, stand six feet back, but knock on your neighbor's door and see if they need anything, if they're needing resources. Yeah. We don't know. They may have not made their mad dash to Costco and got the last of the toilet paper. You just never know what people need. So be that knock on the door or the call on the phone. Yeah, continue to give uh, mm -hmm. faithfully and go online mm -hmm. to give and continue to 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 meet together. We, mm -hmm. Just because we don't have church on Sunday morning doesn't mean that we stop gathering and stop mm -hmm. being in community. We mm -hmm. can still pray with one another and continue to foster, mm -hmm. uh, grapple with our faith mm -hmm. with one another. Um, and, and reach out if you guys mm -hmm. need prayer for anything. Please. Don't just keep the door closed. We're here for you. Like we're, we're, we're pastors. Pastor Bob and Pastor Susie, Pastor Laura, we have Pastor Angie, we, yeah. we're pastors, we wanna help. Mm -hmm. So in any way that we can be a support to you, yeah. we wanna be there because we trust in a powerful God, an awesome God who is Thank for you. us. And we can make we can make him known in a time like this, people walking in fear, mm -hmm. there, there's mm -hmm. an opportunity for us to share the gospel with yep. others. Yeah, we can choose what we participate with. We either participate with fear or we par participate with hope. So let's be, what our name is. We're Hope, we're Hope Tri-Cities. So let's, let's continue to spread that wherever we go, wherever we find ourselves. So I'm gonna just close in prayer and um, we'll see you guys next week. We're so excited. Pray that Alaska Airlines does not cancel any flights, holla. Okay. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind staying, no. staying here for no. a couple extra. No, we're coming home. I need to get back to my voice. We wanna voice. go home. We, okay. wanna, we wanna be with you. We, we wanna do. be with our family. And I miss my voice. Okay, we're gonna pray. Lord, thank you so much for your goodness, God, that you are sovereign through through it all. Lord, you see everything. You see everyone's emotions, um, and you see all of our, our fears, anxiety, and you want to provide um, all the joy and um, peace to us, God. So we open up our hands and our hearts to that so that we we may completely consume all of the joy wow. that, that you have for us, all of the love, all of the yeah. hope, so that we can explode that across the tri cities. Um, just as much as this virus is is spreading, we want to spread more of your your truth and your love yeah. and your peace and your grace, God. You're so good. Thank you for Hope Tri-Cities. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay. Love you guys. Love you. See you soon. Bye.